Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing well. Um, I actually forgot to film an intro yesterday when I was doing the makeup look so that's why I look a little bit different now to what I do in the video. Um, basically I purchased a whole bunch of new makeup products um, that I had seen online and basically from doing my own research. Um, I picked them all up off of Feel Unique and they arrived last week. But yeah, I basically wanted to test them all out and I'm not going to lie, I was shook. Some of the products were unreal. Um, so yeah, if you want to see the makeup look that I created with a bunch of new products, then please keep watching. Okay, so I've done my brows off camera just because I haven't used anything new there. Um, I've used all the same Benefit products as I usually would. Okay, so first I'm just going to just quickly do my eyes. I'm not going to do anything big today. I'm literally just going to do a really cool tone brown. Um, I'm also not going to put any concealer on my eyelids just because, as you can see, they've kind of flared up again and they're just really sore at the moment. So yeah, I'm just going to put the shadow on and hope for the best that it turns out okay. I'm just going to use my Real Techniques fluffy brush and I'm literally just going to take this brown here so it's as I said it's really subtle I don't want a really harsh eye look today Okay, so now that my eyeshadow is on, I'm going to try one of my new products that I have purchased. All of the stuff that I bought as well, I got from Feel Unique. So yeah, as I said, I'm going to link everything down in the description box below. But just for reference, that's where I got it from. Um, so the first thing that I'm going to use is the Stila Stay All Day Waterproof Liquid Eyeliner. Um, I've been kind of looking for a new eyeliner for a while. Um, I was using the Kat Von D one um, for ages, um, but it's now dried up. So I was desperately in need of a new one. So I went online, did a bit of research, and this one was rated quite highly so I don't know how this is going to turn out it could be really good it could be horrific I have no idea but this is the first time that I have used it so I'm just gonna shake it before I start using it the tip of this is really thin I don't know if you can see that so yeah it's it's really thin which I think is gonna be quite good so I can be quite detailed so I'm just gonna grab my mirror and I'm gonna try and attempt a liner I have not done a liner in the longest time so what I do for my liner is I literally kind of pull my eyelid out I don't know whether this is right or not but this is how I tend to do it and um, I literally just pull my lid a little bit out like this and I'll just try and make a straight line all across my lid Okay, so I'll zoom you in slightly just so you can see. So I've literally done a wing that looks like this. To be honest, I'm quite happy with how it's turned out. Um, I've kind of only gone sort of to here really with the wing. But yeah, I'm gonna head off camera, do the other eye, chuck some lashes on, and then we will be back. Okay, so I've put my lashes on. Um, these are the Doll Beauty Lash in the style Gloria. I don't think they, they do this style anymore. I had a look on the website the other day and I couldn't see them, um, but I will link a pair that are really similar. Um, I have also ordered two new pairs of Doll Beauty, which I'm just waiting on, so as soon as they arrive, I can do like another look using those lashes. Um, but yeah, I feel like I can breathe now. Honestly, doing like liquid eyeliner and shadow and lashes really is like my least favorite part of my like makeup routine um but yeah i'm quite happy with how the wings turned out they're quite even um and yeah the pen's good because it's so small you can like allow yourself to be quite precise and kind of go in and run the pen over it multiple times just to like blacken it up but yeah so that is all done thank god um, next then for skin, so I'm just going to start off with my usual primer. This is the Ole Henriksen primer. Um, I'm just going to chuck some of this on my face. I have also moisturised prior to this. I honestly love this primer so much. Like It gives your skin such a nice glow and it's just so nice. 
you can see how much of a glow that gives my skin and it's so nice then under your foundation so I absolutely love that. So my next new purchase that I bought was the Ordinary Coverage Foundation. I actually watched Jordan Lipscomb's video of this and she used this on her skin that has, as because her skin had gotten a lot more drier. I got the shade 1.1N Fair Neutral. So I'm obviously using this color um, because I have no tan on at the moment. I also wanted to try this out first before I bought one in like a color that I'd use when I'm tan because if I don't like it, then I'm obviously just gonna waste it. Um, so it's quite a small little bottle. It's 30 ml, so I guess that is standard size. So it looks like this. I'm just gonna give it a bit of a shake and then I'm just gonna pump a few bits on the back of my hand this shade actually looks spot on actually which is really good oh wow this is quite liquidy foundation so i think it'll be one of those foundations that goes quite far i guess we shall see i've actually put quite a lot on the back of my hand never mind and then i'm just going to take my brush from revolution and buff this into my skin Wow, okay, so the coverage on this is definitely full coverage. <laughs> this also has quite a yellowy undertone to it, but I actually prefer that for my skin. Um, so I don't mind that at all. Okay, wow. So I am obsessed with this foundation. That is such a nice foundation. Like, I literally can't get over it. And you can still see the glow then from that primer underneath. But the coverage of that as well like is insane like and it feels like really like high quality foundation like considering i paid like 5.95 for this yeah this is really nice it doesn't feel dry at all makes my skin look really dewy and yeah i'm literally obsessed i can't believe it like it actually looks really nice on the skin so that is the ordinary foundation and so far yeah i'm loving that okay next up for concealer then is a product that i've wanted to try for ages i've seen so many people talking about this concealer this is the nars radiant creamy concealer in the shade creme brulee okay so this well actually it's quite a nice quite a good shade actually I'm just gonna make a triangle and then just fill that in like this so i've literally just made a triangle there under my eye Oh my god, the formula of this feels unreal. This feels really nice. So, like, when they say creamy concealer, they aren't, like, they aren't messing. And then just go again with the same brush to dab, and then any bits that I can't do, I'll either use my finger or a beauty blender. Wow, okay, so this isn't messing around, like, blending. Well, this is definitely living up to its expectation. Oh my goodness. Okay, wow, this concealer is unreal. It just blends seamlessly into the skin. Like, I've actually never seen anything like it. That coverage underneath my eye looks flawless. I'm obviously going to dab this bit now with my finger. Well, okay, so I'm officially obsessed with that concealer. That is so nice. The coverage on it, like I'm actually blown away, is amazing. And like when people say it's full coverage, like it is 100% full coverage. That is so nice. I feel well, like my the skin, like my the base of my skin right now looks so like dewy and lush. Oh my god, okay, so that concealer I'm absolutely obsessed with. If you take anything from this video, please invest in this concealer. I'm obsessed. Done. I'm obsessed, yeah, great. Okay, next up then is a product that I don't actually own at all. Um, it's a finishing like pressed powder. Um, again, I've never used one in my makeup routine and I felt like it was probably the time to invest. So I've actually invested in this one. This is by e.l.f. 
This is the light and light slash medium prime and stay finishing powder. So I'm literally gonna put this now over my eyes if I can open it. There we go. So this is the shade. And I'm just gonna dab under my under eye and see what difference this makes. Now, I really like that. It's really nice under my under eye and around like those areas I said where I usually crease. Okay, next. I was like looking in my mirror here like, ready? Okay, so next end bronzer. I am literally running so low on my Too Faced bronzer and I really just don't want to give in yet. So I'm just taking this on an angled brush. This was something that I learned um, from the makeup artist that I had a lesson with and honestly, this has changed the game. It makes my concealer look so snatched. Let me just zoom you in slightly, just so you can see like the coverage and like obviously this glow is obviously from the primer, I haven't put any concealer on yet, um, but yeah like my skin is just looking so dewy and amazing, I'm quite upset actually that I'm just gonna take this makeup to the kitchen and like that'll be that. Okay, so that is bronzer. As I said, an angled brush for bronzer. If you don't know, get to know. This pulls your makeup together so well. I would never ever have thought to use this kind of brush with my bronzer, but honestly, I will never use anything else because you can see how it's just kind of like, it just pulls everything together. It just looks so much nicer. So I'm actually gonna use the Wet n Wild angled brush for my highlight today. I'm actually using the Baked Tri Bread. bread? Try Blend Highlighter from Barry M. This is more of like a goldy tone and I love this one. You don't need a lot of it though, because um, it is quite pigmented. So I'm just gonna take a tiny bit of this and just dab on. I love it. Honestly, I hardly like tap my brush in it at all and you can see the difference that it's made there. I used to go really heavy on the highlighter, but I just don't really do it anymore. I have like a tiny bit as well, like on above my eyebrow. But yeah, I used to go pretty hard on the highlighter, but I feel like with the really good primer underneath, you don't actually need to use a lot because you get quite a lot of glow from that primer, which is why I love it so much. Nothing new for bronzer. I'm still using my Benefit California. I don't really want to invest in another blusher in case it's not as nice because this one I am obsessed with. I'm just gonna put that on the apples of my cheeks and take that back. I'm not gonna use too much today. Just because I want this look to be quite like bronzy and gold. Okay, so lastly then is lips. So I'm gonna go to like my go-to lip look, which is the Lustre lipstick in the shade. What is that the shade? No, the shade is Toast. Lustre is the sort of like collection. Uh, Lustre lipstick from Primark in the shade Toast with my MAC Boldly Bare lip liner and then the MAC Pur lip gloss over the top. This is the nicest lip gloss in the world. Like it's so nice. It's the best, like the best pinky lip gloss you could ever want. Oh my God, I really need to sharpen this. I'm just gonna line my lips. Also like to fill in my lips a little bit more at the bottom as well. And then I'm just gonna add the lip gloss over the top then. Lastly then, I'm just gonna take some All Nighter Urban Decay Set Spray. Okay, so this is the finished look. I am obsessed. I think this is the best my makeup has ever looked. This, the foundation and the concealer for me have completely made it. Like, they're probably two of the best products I've ever used on my face. I will just zoom you in slightly just so that you can see 
how my skin is looking um but yeah i'm i'm literally fully obsessed with this makeup look the foundation is five pound 95 it's very hydrating you can feel that when you put it on your skin so if you do suffer from dry skin i highly recommend investing your five pound in that foundation because it's amazing the concealer as well the coverage on it is amazing i absolutely love it like it's by far my favorite concealer i have ever used um and yeah just everything else i think just pulls together i'm so happy as well that the products like all came together and were actually really worth investing in so i am really really happy i hope that you all enjoyed this video as i said everything that i have used um i will try and link down below in the description um but yeah i mean i will definitely be recommending all these products to every single person just because i am literally blown away by this finished look so yeah i really hope that you enjoyed this video if you did please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel it would mean so much to me um but yeah that is it from me i hope you enjoyed and i will see you all very soon with a brand new video bye